good. Uh, you know, we used to play our concerts in uh, this. Uh, in uh, we, used to, we used to play uh, uh, six persons on stage. Uh, he's a bass player, guitar player, his saxophone player, drummer, guitar, uh, domra, and uh, um, uh, and, uh, yes. and so it is very uh, convenient and it's very comfortable to uh, be on the stage here. Um, no matter that we are playing uh, by the phonogram. Yes, uh, it's very comfortable to play here with my friends. Uh, just before I came, Moldova was here. They were cheering, they were dancing, they were singing. Is it possible for me to ask you to, to sing a little bit for the press? No way. No way. Somehow it became more uh, difficult. Somehow it became more simple because um, we've got some audience uh, in Russia, especially, and of course this uh, uh, simplify our way of uh, music. Uh, simplify it, and uh, uh, but we um, um, demands to ourselves is much more higher from ourselves, much more higher, and we we know that we have to do our music perfectly. We have to to sing perfectly with a tone and with pitching and uh, we have to play uh, play play this this must be very good all oh, the playing of our band and of course for the first time because we just uh, we came on the stage and in three persons we and just la 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 and uh, and uh, you know an audience uh, treated good and now uh, when you uh, we have uh, three thousands of uh, people uh, uh, in in the hall uh, and you, you know that you should do it best of all, you know, best of you can, and 
It should be perfect. Uh, it is a very good motivation to improve, to move on. So we are trying to... <laughs> Three words, I was trying to say. <laughs> Do we have any questions in the, in the modern language? <laughs> okay, okay, you, you can ask a question. Evan is over there. Hello, Konstantin Orr, Prince Magazine from Germany. I would like to know why did you choose to call yourself Peter Nellich and Friends instead of just translating the original group name? Maybe you can explain the, the Russian name ah, as well. Uh, you know, we were thinking about how to be named uh, here in Europe. And um, in, uh, in Russia we are called uh, uh, Musical Collective Petra Nalich. It's a music <laughs> band of Peter Nalich. Uh, but um, then uh, the word collective is uh, uh, not well tra trans uh, transferred in uh, English language like collective in Russian. And that is why we decided just to be named uh, Peter Nalich and Friends for simplicity. 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 Ah, <laughs> Do we have another question here? Yeah, you in the back? Hello. Hello. Uh, Jakob from Denmark. Uh, I've read that your song is based on humor, and many people don't recognize that it's based on humor. Is that a problem for your chances? Uh, you're singing, uh, you're speaking about this song? About him? Uh, yes, of course. You know, uh, the, the, um, I think that all uh, our songs, no matter uh, if they are jolly or, or merry or lyric, lyrical, dramatic, of course there is something uh, humorous there, some ironic, of course. Uh, yes, I think that uh, someone will not understand it, but I hope uh, he will uh, appreciate our music and just just our excellent singing. <laughs> and maybe many times uh, later, years later, he will understand the ironic sense of this song. How do you use your humor? How I use the humor? Yeah, how do you use it in song? In song. Yeah. So I'm using it. Mm, how I'm using it? I'm using it very well. <laughs> <laughs> they have been, but how? How do you use it in, in the song? How, do, how, how can people know that it's humor? I, I think that irony is the quality of yeah. the author, not the quality of the song. So if the author is ironic, then everything that he do, uh, he's doing is ironic too. There's no special uh, movement or special act to add humor in your songs if you are ironic. No way, uh, no, no way to use it something in a special way, it's just, it's just coming from your person. You think it's different from humor from, from Russia to, for instance, uh, Australia and Norway and Denmark? You think the humor and I want to say is different? I think that humor is international everywhere. The real humor, I, I mean, of course. <laughs> uh, there are some different uh, colors of humor, but it's international. Yes, the main the main point of humor, I think, uh, uh, all uh, all good people <laughs> all over the world understand, will understand our humor. Questions? Do we have any, any from the press who want to ask someone who want to speak the mother language? Maybe. No. How how do you think the international final here in Oslo will be compared to the one in Moscow? How to compare it? Which is the? It's bigger. Which is the? It's bigger. It's bigger. The audience, the audience is bigger. Oh. And that's that's it. Uh, uh, more cameras, <laughs> more microphones, <laughs> and plugs, <laughs> and wire. So, uh, I, I think the main the main difference is in audience, because the whole Europe watches you. So it's a great opportunity to show what you are doing to such many people. And or, or you mean uh, uh, what? What do we? What do we uh, want to change? Uh, comparing with yeah, our, of course. Are you? <coughs> ah, no, sorry. You mean the difference between uh, Eurovision in Moscow and Eurovision yeah. here? Ah. <laughs> ah. 